Otherwise, it will be pointless being here without knowing why we are here and what we are supposed to do. I will tell you what I am meaning. I don't mean that you don't know why you are here. I know you know. But there are some people who don't know why they are here. So we should make it very clear where when we are in the house of God, what are we supposed to do? And uh, whatever we do, whether it is at home, whether it is at work, whether you are in a taxi, whether anything, please, I will keep repeating because I got inspired about that part of our faith. Whatever you see happening, just convert it into the spiritual. Even if you use the, 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 the smartphone, and ask Google where you can find such an incident in the Bible. You will find it there, I'm telling you. You will find it in the Bible. Any, anything happening in this world, it is in the Bible. So, that's why sometimes I give a lot of testimonies about my, myself here. I find that everything is just programmed by, by God. Even before you, you, you will conceive God in you. You will be conceived and uh, you will be born and you will be in such a place. You will be, those will go in exile like that, like that. So you can see. The pride should not come in us. Look at the, the hospital beds. If you are admitted, how many people have been admitted on that bed where, they, where you have slept and have died? How many people have left in their homes when they are alive and they have been brought back in the coffins? How many people have got the degrees in which you have and they have no job? Like that, like that, then you will be humble. I'm only teaching at that one about the minute, but the topic of today is um, what Father has just removed. And we are praying in this shrine and in session prayer said they intend to have what is called perpetual adoration. I use it before they, they came here. Uh, we used to have it only on the first days at the parish. And then I used to go to the Blue Sister Sea Covenant where the Blessed Sacrament was exposed. But here we are having it every day from seven up to the time the Father has just removed. And that is called perpetual adoration. But we must understand as Catholics what is the adoration of the Blessed Son? When did it start? Even I do not uh, Google about it, but I said, let me also tell them how it started. Then I landed in France, as I told last time, that the country was privileged. Mother Mary appeared there several times. Every even our missionaries, my pair and our mass, they came from France. And those are the countries which the devil wants to show the whole world that uh, hey, you say the one mission has came from here now you see what they are doing. That, that's where the devil wants, but it does not uh, pull us back. So in France, in 1226, uh, I told you that there was a heresy, heresy in the false teaching against the church where people were committing suicide, saying that the body belongs to the devil, and then the soul belongs to God. So, when you commit suicide, you have killed the body of the devil, and the soul goes to, 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 to God. And people were committing suicide. And it is not a surprise. In our country, we remember what we did, the CDD. So, it is not a surprise. The Pope said bishops nothing. There was no, 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 no change of mind of you know, these people who were already eh? got the conviction that the body is useless. Which, of course, even the, the Bible tells us that you don't kill the one who uses the, 
the God and God cannot kill the soul. Well, I think that's where they will be the best. So, in the twenty twenty-six, and uh, it was after we had got the rosary, Saint Dominic, when the Mother Mary appeared to me, and then it's the one who convinced these people to stop the 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 the, 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 the suicides. Now, in the twelve twenty-six, the king was called Louis the Eighth. Louis the Eighth. The, the war had been finished there at the, the beginning of the, the Roman war like that. The, the, the war was now over. So he requested that the great sacrament be exposed at the chapel and the people should thank God for having won that war of people committing suicide. Okay, but otherwise, when you go to the Bible, and uh, you remember when he, Jesus was beginning to agonize in the garden of the Gethsemane, the apostles fell asleep. He woke them up three times. Then he told Peter and James and John, You could not watch even for one hour. I got it from there, watching. Jesus for at least one hour, a duration of one hour. So I was raised in Mbaru, was listening to my program when I talked about the Lady Man. When I reached there, he told me, he said, hey, you talked about the adoration starting in, uh, in the Garden of the Sunday, because we, we are watching Jesus, and he told him, you cannot even watch for one hour. So there he started knowing that it is Jesus himself who is in the blessed sacrament and himself is the one who is the blessed sacrament of changing the, the, the bread and the wine into the history of flesh and the history of blood. The Bible. This is my body. He did not say that this one is, uh, represents my body. It symbolizes my Ah, uh, uh, he said, This is my body. Then the blood, this is my blood, which will be the, or the, this is my blood of the new and the old covenant, which will be shed for the remission of sins. For many, and from that time, we are not adoring bread. He meant it to bread, but it is real Jesus, Jesus Himself. And uh, <coughs> the saints taught us about this adoration. Saint Patrick Pio said that. Stay close to the Catholic Church. You know, they are already in heaven. And they have left the legacy for us. And if we want to be where they are, we must follow their legacy, their instruction. He said, stay close to the Catholic Church because it is only the Catholic Church which has got the body and the blood of our Lord in the blessed sacrament. But, and that is enough for us to understand. Then we have another one, Venerable Fulton Sheen, who said in heaven. He said, where he gets his power and all that inspiration for his free was a great motivator on the TV was very given and awarded as the best communicator of the century on the TVs, on the red red food and chili, talking and you don't get converted. Uh -huh. Then you are really unconvertible. You are like the pharaoh of Egypt. Because in the pharaoh, Moses would perform even the miracles from God, but he would call his magicians. And then they also performed the snakes at the day. Moses 
makes his snake to swallow the other snake and steal. He was as hard as a, 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 a stone. So, put on chin, he said he gets his power from that. But then, among the saints, whom we also learn that they, we really have the greatest devotion, because I must have the devotion, but the, the greatest devotion in the, of the great sacrament, they were St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Peter, Emma, and our St. John Paul the second. St. John Paul the second. I will read to you I have a book here called the Eucharistic Club. Let me just read a small text here. A very short one that is Jesus, I adore you. When we are here, we are adoring Jesus. But now you listen to what we are going to be told. That when, when one loves truly and loves greatly, one begins to adore. You see? The English words must have the proper meaning of our Catholic faith. I repeat, when one loves truly and loves greatly, one begins to adore. Great love and adoration are two distinct things, but they form a whole. They become adoring love and loving adoration. Jesus in the tabernacle is adored only by those who truly love him. And he is loved in an eminent manner by whoever adores him. You cannot just see Come and study those in the front of the face and you say you are loving me. And yet when you have got a date with your girlfriend at the beach, you are you cannot go. So the true love is what what inspired me to come and talk about this adoration. We are going to see how we are supposed to, to make the adoration. Because the, the examples are there. We have been with the, some of us, even the most there. We have been with this, this social priest right from the beginning when they started with the Father Kizaki as guys staying here before even the mystery was built. So the, the former superior was called Father John. And you can see the office. God made sure that in that office there is a window where you can look outside and see what is the activity is happening in this room. So a girl came for counsel. Because people come from all over the place that we are going for counsel, whether it is Tuesday or Wednesday. Now, when the girl entered and studied her problems, Father John saw that. Eh? No. It is better she goes to sit in front of the rest of sacrament for at least 10 minutes. Then she comes back for counseling. So he told her, said, you go, just sit and adore the rest sacrament for 10 minutes. Then come back. The girl said, okay, fine. She came out. Because she thought the father was not watching. He was watching through the window. She came out, entered like this, passed like this, went like this, turned like that. Got out of the gate without even kneeling before the best sacrament. 
So don't be surprised why I came up with this because it really gives an impression that we don't know that if Jesus is here. Even that priest who is going to do casting for you, he gets his power, as Peter and Shina have just said. He gets his power from the best sacrament. Even in that Father Raymond, where people are poor in Kabul and Miro, he gets his power from the best sacrament. Now you have been told just to come and adore for 10 years, then you come back. And there was a very big reason for that, and you just walk away. And that is where we miss a mark with our faith. Otherwise, uh, the best sacrament that is Jesus, Eucharistic miracles have taken place. One time in France, again in our happy country, the nuns were making the adoration, the best sacrament. And each nun was seeing <coughs> Jesus waiting like this. But each nun thought, because now that's why we can't do the rush for, for, for miracles and get excited uh, like in, in Gogonia, the, the Father Sema who said he was celebrating Mass, they even kept the Mass. And Jesus, who you are? Well, you are living in the, the real Jesus in the Mass, you are in the sun, looking in the sun, and Jesus is in the sun. So, Catholic, you don't, we are warned not to rush about the miracle. So each sister was seeing the hand of Jesus, but was worried that, that maybe she is having a problem. Each sister was seeing, no. God's ways are not our ways to confirm it. When the priest came, now to remove the best sacrifice of Christ, and just that, uh -huh. each sister had to go to tell the priest what she had seen without telling the other sisters. He said, Father, this is what I was saying. Until all the sisters told the priest, and that's why we have, he has become our public in, in, in the declaration in the, in the church. So you can see, each sister went, so maybe the father will say, ah, maybe you have said a cerebral malaria, or maybe they were, you were seeing something. Because, uh, when I was in the Fort uh, that uh, he, was, he died, he's called Father Emmanuel. He told me that uh, when we were having in, uh, his supper, he said he, there was a man in the mass who went after the mass to him. He said, Father, when you raised him, Jesus, I saw the real blood on that bread, the real blood of Jesus. Then the father said, ah, later on I realized that I was putting on, on this feast day when they put on red. He was putting on red, the man was seeing the red more than the, 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 the bread, it was the red. So, there you know the priest is, is helping because even another person who here in our Passing, the lady was bringing the, the flowers to put in here, but the other lady had closed the eyes. She didn't know that the, the server is bringing the flowers, so she, she was smelling the fragrance of the flowers. So she also went to read the testament that today I worship Jesus until even I started smelling the flowers. No, the flowers were being brought. So, don't rush. Miracles are there by you being here. You would say very big miracle. But don't get excited that you, you will saw because even in the, in the UN, uh, uh, when I was the godfather of a certain old Zungu, now he used to come, he was a veteran before. Then he, he told me he wants to come back to Catholic. So he started even coming from morning mass, Sunday. So he went to the office when they were now working. He told the people in the office that you people, 
it has a lot of miracles like one in the government the, 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 the robbers entered in the convent and uh, they were going to even I think kill even the nun that was in Europe there. So the sister Teresa, Sister Teresa, when did you go? She's now a saint. Went and got the blessed sacrament and came facing the thieves, the robbers like this. Okay. You also saw that one. This one is interesting. So they all ran. They took off. And it is recorded. To show you the power of Jesus. Otherwise, the robbers, the agents of Satan, do not fear any place where they are they have stolen from the time. They have killed the other time. They, they beat up our place in the Kapurapuri Road, robbing. You know, uh, when I was in uh, Arua, a uh, uh, the sisters told me that when they were having the supper, one sister said, I I'm feeling I'm going to be killed today. You know, when someone talks like that, of course, quickly you rebuke him or her. Well, there is no problem, she was not sick, but why, why do you talk such things? And they were like, So they told her, don't talk like that. I said, no, no, I'm feeling there's something bad going to happen. And the robbers came. It is a, 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 a comment of contemplating. See, that they showed me her, her grave. They came, attacked the coven, robbing, and she was the only one who was shot dead. Hey. So, sometimes we can predict our own death. There are many who are who predicting their own death. So, that is the blessed sacrament. Now, there is a pope. No popes have got titles because of what they, we have just finished the month of, of the rosary. And I told you the pope of the rosary is called St. Pius the Because of that battle on 7th October 1571, defeating the Muslim Turks. So it's called the pope of the rosary. But we also have the pope of the Eucharist, and that is the Pope Pius the Tenth, and he made sure, as he allowed the children to have the, the communion, as he allowed the frequent communion, strictly those days you would receive communion only once. You don't receive more than once in a day. So all he was really seeing. How Jesus should be with us all the time, so frequent communion is allowed. Now, in May, our steps, uh, or when we are doing the adorations of the Blessed Sacrament, which we can follow, so that when we come here, you know what I'm going to read for you. Are you doing this? This is from Pope Pius. The tenth. Okay. So, number one. First, he said that below are a few suggestions. Use the ones that work for you. Pray as you can. What you are going to hear, which one works for you best? Have you come here and you think that you should complete your rosaries? And here I say, why did you leave the car at home, going to church and coming here? So if I have come before the first sacrament, am I completing my rosaries? You choose from what I'm going to read. You cannot fulfill all of them because they are 48. They are 48. For the place and imagine. 48 and you fail to get at least five 
or an even three, to make sure that Jesus will be happy when you are here with him. Number one, slowly, mark that word, slowly read sacred scripture until something hits you. Then listen. You see, that's why people are getting miracles before they are suffering. When you are reading the scripture and you are with Jesus and it is sinking in the heart, something will hit you. Something will hit you. Then you listen to that voice. That's why I told you that in this place, before even going to do cancer, they come to ask Jesus for that part of seeing what you are telling me. Telling me. This is a spiritual matter. Don't think that Jesus is going to, to shout at the door. No, but he, the Father invites you. Just invite you to ask that when you sit before Jesus, you say, like right now, me, I'm God, I'm God. Uh, you say, you're meaning in the heart, don't you shout when people are there. You say, God, uh, you say, Jesus, I am God. Then he said, Jesus will also answer. God, I am Jesus. You see? You are now in union with Jesus. That was what he told us in the Congo when you were celebrating Mass. So, that is one, number one. Number two, you can come before the great sacrament and recite your rosary. It's here, it's a reciting the rosary. We have been making mistakes, but there is nobody who who is immune to mistakes? When we were adoring in the, in, in the, the small chapel there, I think that lady was a, a visitor here. Each person is following this separate. So she was telling her that, ah, now let us uh, recite the rosary. You do it yourself alone. Then when I was in the chapel for St. Patrick Pio, we were doing the adoration there in the small chapel. A certain man there announced that please, those who don't belong to our devotion can get out. We want to make our special prayers. And I went to Father Francis in the Prudan with the director because I was the, chair, the, the chairman of, of that committee. I said, Father, what is this? Even when I was going around with the lady of Maria in, in, in the room, I told them that I was embarrassed in Kabula when somebody told us that to serve for us we should get out, that for them of that division, I don't know which devotion, whether it was precious blood or what, that they should be left alone, that it will make their prayers No, That is not how we adore the blessed sacrament. We come here in the Then we can, we have we been reciting the, 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 the rosary and the other prayers, communion. We follow what he has been put for us to follow. Not you just coming here and, and said, Me, I belong to the living rosary. Those who are the living rosary, you come, we pray this prayer, and yet people are making the adoration with Jesus. That is why Pope Pius gave us these 48 steps. Number three, if you can't say 20 decades, say five decades. You see? The spiritual matters are not a military. Hmm? That you must say 20 decades when you are before Jesus in the blessed sacrament. No, he has told us, Pope Pius, that's why I quit a I don't want you to, uh, to start asking 
you are celebs when you are finishing that book, but who told him these things? Has he even ever been in the settlement? He is telling us things he does not know. Hmm? Um, for example, even on Radio Maria, I always announced that now I'm reading from a book. And the, the author of the book is so and so, and this book has got him remand. So that they don't say that the other can has a case in this. So that I can to quit this one to come with it. Uh -huh. Number four. If you can't say five decades, because he said that if you can't say twenty, say five. Now number four is saying, if you can't say five decades, say one decade. Something like what in Bobo Benedict the Sixteen has mentioned. You see? Number five. If you can't say one Mike, say one Mary Mary, very slow. You see, we are, we are being accommodated for everything. Imagine you are traveling from Kampala and you know the session in prayer center that there is exposition of the blessed sacrament and you are going to catch your flight. But you want to come and treat Jesus, and you know they, they check in time. Are you going to sit here and say 20 decades and you miss the flight? And then you start complaining to Jesus that Jesus, I was praying to you why you had the, 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 the flight left me. No, he is accommodating everybody. But in that even a fruit on the one time he was a dentist, he was, he, I was in America, he had gone to, to France. No, he, he had a real devotion for the blessed sacrament. He stayed before Jesus. They closed the, the, the church. The time for his flight, by the time he checked on the flight or on the, on the boat, hey, the, the flight was going to leave him, and they had closed the church. They are left the bishop inside with the best sacrament. He jumped through the window and caught the flight. He caught the flight and flew. So, let's not exaggerate some things. Number six. If you can't say one hand man, you see, bring us to our neighbor, whatever, whatever we want to do. If you can't say one hand man, say, Holy name, like a little child saying, Mom, Mama, pray as you can, not as you can not. You see, very comfortable. Everything is to make us feel at ease with Jesus. But when Father Michael, before he went to the Zoom, he told us that. Somebody came to Pasoli, then he told him to go and read the verses. He said, Ah, Father, is that all? He said, What do you mean? He said, When I went to the pastor, the pastor told me to stand up. He even boxed me. He even went up. He said, Now you are giving me only these verses. Father, the Bible told us again. Because the, 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 the pastor has to box him by saying, Jesus, drive this demon out of him. Boom! Then he gives him a block. Then I went on, him, on the video on my phone. And then that's when you know they are here acting. Now this is pastor, whom they are organized with this two boys. So he said that when I box you, you fall down. Then the other one had come also. Then he boxed him. Demon, demon, come out of it. They, that one fell down. Then he went to the next one. They had already run. Hmm? I'm telling you, you demon, what, 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 what you do to this world? Boom! That one also fell down. And when he came to the third one, he, he tried to push him down. The boy jumped. <laughs> he said, what? He said, hey, I say, demon, fell out down. The boy jumped. He said, what? <laughs> hey. 
things went to worse. The boy is trying to struggle you, my son. He must have run in and a day he was. That is not how we worship. We are following the steps of Pope Pilate. The boy was going to beat him. We are not here to act like that. Number seven. Look at the good God and let him look at you. That is obvious. If you can go with your kid to the beach and you are looking at each other face to face without getting tired, now can you really come before Jesus and then you turn the chair and you face backwards there? You look at him and he looks at you to be a number seven. Number eight, consider that the sacred body of Jesus came from Holy Mary and the Tank of Heart. Mary was the first tabernacle. Now the only thing with us we have the two sacraments and Mary is there we also stand to heart. Me after the morning mothers who always see me in the book, I always after the mass, I go and just say my address, then I go out to just to stand to heart. But it drew a lot of mixed reaction from people. Even some priests were saying, Abraham, the mother of Lisa, when they say, Where are you from? Abraham, what are you doing? Abraham, what are you doing? 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 I want to go to see. Then another woman from the choir followed me up to here. He said, Come on, I want to know the prayers you make. Always after my husband, go to my dad. I said, I just go to, to greet her, to stand her. You see, we have to help each other. That's why Pope Powers and Prayers gave us this. Number nine. Tell Jesus something that made you happy. And then listen. If you got a job and you have come here, you are happy that you pray and got a job. Now you are with Jesus in the best. Tell him. Tell him, and he will and listen to how he is going to answer you in the heart. Number 10. Tell him what you are afraid of. Then he listen. Is it school fees you are afraid of? Is it the, 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 the drunken husband coming and beating you every day you are afraid of? Tell him. Is he a Jesus fiscal present? Number 11. Tell him what angers you. Then he listen. What has annoyed you from home? What has annoyed you at work? You may bring problems if you are going to return yet. Tell him and listen. Number 12. Speak about your loved ones to Jesus. Number 13. Pray. For an enemy. Hey, we all have enemies. Now we pray for the enemy before Jesus did. But a woman came here. Then she followed, she followed me outside there. She said, Kano, I want to talk to you. And she had been here in the place. She said, You know, my husband, we got a misunderstanding. We were staying in the cover there. Now, he has got another woman, he has abandoned me. I said, what happened? What brought the misunderstanding? He said, you know, he took our two children for the DNA, and he found that one child is not his, and one child is his. Now he has abandoned me, even if not sending the, 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 the assistance. So, me, I'm telling Jesus, to punish the woman whom she has, who has taken my husband, me I still want my husband back. I said, what are you talking? You see the confusion now, you even confuse Jesus now. Because Jesus loves everyone. Now you are coming to, to, to instead of praying for the other woman who has taken your husband,
did he listen to me? Even you, you think I'm uh, talking a lot in, in, in Kabula Mulino, you know, Father Raymond told us that a girl came for counseling and said, Father, this man he told me that he had left his wife and I'm the only one, now he has gone back to his wife. Then another girl said, Father, this girl has snatched my fiancé. Father, I want you to pray that this girl gets AIDS. Hey, you see how we can be confused? We are here with Jesus, but we are confused. Number 14. Talk with him about our work. The devil is in every job. The work is in I'm telling you, you know what happens in the work. You we are here, but Jesus is the one you should tell. Another woman here just came straight to me outside. She said, you know, I'm a single mother with children. I've just come back from Iraq. They, I finished the contract of security. Now I saw adverts in the UN for security. So I, I applied. Now this man, Called me and said that I have to sleep with her. But I said, well, Are you telling me the truth? She said, He is called so and so. He gave, he gave me the name. She gave me the name. I said, The hope which I pray over it. I went to human resources. I said, Is there so and so here? I told him, I'm here to be because of it. I said, Hey, is that a gentleman? Hey, hey, I'm not pointing at you. <laughs> so, number 15. Pray to St. Joseph for a happy day. Not a day where we are crying, pooping, and so on. Number 16. Pray for the whole souls in purgatory. And number 17. Pray a song to him in your heart. So I told you they are 48. And I pray only 17 because I don't like rushing. The teacher does not be able. So we, we resume maybe Saturday. I will continue with this so that we know how to make the adoration. Don't come here when people are making adoration. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No. He said, do it in your heart. Sing a song for Jesus in your heart. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.